Every Friday night at 6 on X103, you can hear Slam and Sam's live studio jam. One Friday night last summer, the guys from Driving and Crying stopped by for a memorable performance. You guys are, you guys are real road dogs, man. I mean, you guys, like, uh, you, just, you really just play your ass off. And I can tell you've been doing this for a long, long time. You know all you do is the hard way. What's your favorite kind of place to play in? You look like the kind of guys that just, you play. I think a, re a really good bar. You know what I mean? Sorry, you're, you're talking about the one like, where your feet stick to the floor now. You know, like a good bar that has like a that that is used to having for ages. You know, like a place like Toad's Place in New Haven, mm -hmm. or a place like uh, you know, you know, just places around the country that that have been having bands for a long time. What kind of? They know how to do a band in a bar. And real music things. It's not all these security people and all that crap running around. You know. Which is the kind of thing you dread? Man, I don't dread it, but it, it kind of makes everything kind of sterile. You know. Uh -huh. What do you guys, uh, what, what do you listen to if you're out on the road? I mean, you know, when you're just like on the bus, I mean, who do you put in a cassette to listen to? Mm -hmm. Check this out, man. Between, uh, uh -huh. she, Lon, you may have to read this up here. Zeppelin. Anybody here? Proclamation from the mayor. Man. Say mayor. I thought he was 38. Huh? I thought he was 38. Uh, he lied. Because it said 32 on that. that oh, where's the article? I mean, it's in. Let me see. Where's those phone lines buzzing, man? Yeah. I did lie, man. I am 38. Uh, Ray Charles. I fucking Ray lied my ass off. It was a group effort. Ray and his uh huh girls. All right, here they are. Live rock. X103 driving yeah. in the crime. All right. Baby, what I say? Yeah. 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 Ready for the big night? Hey, nice talking to you. I, I got to this on the cover next month, and then I got Kirk Hammett to do the interview. Oh, really? Because he grew up with Les Claypool. They went to high school together. It's the stupidest interview you've ever had. <laughs> oh, Scott, you got to see this coat I'm wearing tonight, man. I'll go get that move. Hello? Hi, uh, Matt. Hi, who's this? It's Troy. I just got you guys a message on the machine once. <laughs> Oh, hey, man, wow. Troy Seeley, uh, we're really bumming because, uh, you know, it's like, how often do you check your messages, man? Uh, once a day. I'm sitting here with Lon Friend, and we're both fisting. I mean, we want to know, what's the deal? Lon. I mean, your favorite radio station plays music, calls you up, tries to get you out of bed at, what, 7 a.m., and you're not there? Well, I heard you guys got Lon up. They got me up at there. 8 o'clock. We got Lon up. You want to talk? We got Lon up, and, uh, luckily, I, I, I assume yeah, Lon yeah. probably went to see me. Go to the can also. He wasn't so lucky. He's in a hotel room and they put your call right on through. What I need to do is give you my special number. There is a number that rings right directly to my room here. Ooh, yeah. Troy Seeley has a special number, Max. Yeah. This is Troy we're talking to. 465. Uh-huh. 9432. 9432. Okay, man, I'll write it down. Hold on here and we'll put you on the air, okay? Okay. <laughs> Uh, is there anything we could do if you want to do something with Troy right now, or is that too far gone? Uh, no, that's cool. We tried to call this morning. Right. You can play, uh, hang on a second, bro. Yeah. You want to talk about it? might be a bad place to be for the right time being here. Uh, hey, could you do me a favor, and uh, could you get some tape so we can roll a tape on them? Where is it at? Uh, it would be in the third drawer on the left. Exotic so metal you can play. I Copy. played a band yeah. in America this morning. Oh, okay. Talk to these guys. This guy, he's a local guy. Hello? Oh, okay. We'll, we'll go live with him. Hello? Where am I? Hi. Hey. What's up? Well, I tell you what, we're going to go live here, and uh, Lon is the host of Pirate Radio Saturday Night. Oh, coast to coast. I know that. And uh, you knew that, so, and, and I was just fucking with you about your phone number. I, I appreciate having your number, man, and, uh, well, I'll <laughs> keep that so I can, you know, get a hold of you when I need to. What we're going to do here is we're going to go live, talk to you for a couple of minutes. Subject matter will be where you were when we tried to wake you up this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, just exactly what the band is doing, how you are, and then uh, you can just intro your, uh, oh no, we'll let Lon do it. Intro exotic metal. All right. Exotic metal. Let's go about metal. the Sweden thing.
Hi, Ron. Hi, dude. How are you? Just fine. How are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm in We're Indianapolis. 15 seconds from air here. Hanging out. Everybody ready? <laughs> yeah. Solid Rock 103, I'm live with Lon Friend of Pirate Radio Saturday Night from L.A. He's right here in the studio. Hi, Sam. Lon, welcome to Indianapolis. How man. come you had all this clapping and cheering this morning, and when I get here, there's no one here to <laughs> clap and cheer? It's because a whole room full of people this morning when we uh, woke your ass up. Yeah, they left, obviously. How much do you remember about <laughs> that early morning phone call when well, we got out of bed this morning? I remember, uh, since I'm on L.A. time, it was about 6 a.m., my time. Well, there's another guy on the phone right now okay. who we woke up just a few moments before that, or at least we tried to. Okay. Are you there, Troy? Yes, Troy Seeley, Mon Kelly, what's up? Not much. Happy birthday, guys. Thanks a lot. It's been a great year, and you've, uh, you've been a part of that. We uh, really appreciate all the good music you bring in Indianapolis. Say hello to Lon Front. How are you, Troy? Do you rock Indianapolis on a regular basis? <laughs> <laughs> it's our designated duty. Now, this morning we called you, we got, uh, your answering machine. It was something like, oh, this is Troy, I feel like I'll leave a message, you'll call me back. Uh -huh. And you're out of there. <laughs> so what we wanted, we know uh, we got straight through the lawn because, uh, well, we called the hotel. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I'm under the name Axel Rose or anything. <laughs> There's no answering machine, and so we woke his ass up, and he's like, first 30 seconds that we couldn't put on the air because you know how you are when you first wake up. So my question is, where were you this morning? Were you just, like, uh, crashed out? Oh, sure. What home? We're going to make this as tough as we can for you, Troy. <laughs> he was sleepy with nuns, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to, uh, are you ready to be rocked here? We're going to, we're going to play your song. You want to tell Lon about this song because see, Lon can go back to L.A. and pull a bunch of strings, man, and uh, make you guys big stars. Tell me about this song, Troy. Okay. What exactly is the band doing tonight? Anything? <laughs> oh, good deal. Is there anyone in Indianapolis that not coming to this party? <laughs> Excellent on cue, man. <laughs> you're very, very good. Great, you're a great guy to talk to, man. We'll talk to you later. Okay, All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Hey, Rob. Yeah, hey, how are you doing? So have you met Juan? He's in a local band. Yes, I have. Yeah. What's Welcome to the band? Uh, the name of the, uh, the band is Ma Kelly. Ma Kelly? Uh -huh. Like Ma, M-A? Cool, bluesy. Oh, yeah, this is a great. Get, get Scott to get you a CD of this album. It's good. They like it. Also, I want to give you a copy of the Snake Skin Cowboy CD. I got one in my car. Okay. Gonna, would you take it with me? That's your band? Story? Uh, actually, the guy that plays lead in their band plays for Snake Skin. Well, that oh. guy playing lead this morning was great. He's fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you agree, because I want to give you a copy of their CD. Okay. When did you come out to last night? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. I'll be leaving tomorrow morning. Uh, let's, uh... <laughs> let's what does that look like? Police from the mayor? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's try this number, Sam. Okay. <laughs> 908. Uh, 908? What the hell area code is that? 946. 946. 9208. That's New Jersey. Okay, everybody, I'm putting their, their headphones. Or just turn down the game. He won't be home. He's never home. Hello? Snake! No. It's Lon. Hey, Lon. What are you doing, you maniac? <coughs> Sick. You got the flu, man? Oh. I, I had it all week. I had the shits like you wouldn't believe. Are you okay? I'm all right. I'm, I'm lying on the couch. Snake, you look great on Saturday Night Live. Dude, I got your message. You're such a sweetheart. <laughs> You're my bro. Did you talk to Adam about me and shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He says he loves you. I love Adam, man. Adam Sandler rules. That's right. We were talking about you right before we went and did this thing. We were having a couple beers. Well, Baz called me and goes, Dude, watch Saturday Night Live. And I said, why? He goes, I go Nirvana time. He goes, just watch it, dude. Watch the whole show. Tape it! <laughs> so I did, and I... And you guys are funny, that skit. I, I thought a lot of the skits were lame that night, except yours was funny. Yeah, they sucked. I thought so, too. <laughs> I totally thought so. Were you at Indianapolis? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put you on the radio. Oh, cool. When? Now. All right on. <laughs> All 
this, hey, how you doing, man? This is Slam and Sam from WRZX. Hey, Sam, how are you? Good, buddy. Glad to meet you uh, by the telephone here. What we'll do is Snake we'll go... Was, uh, Snake was here last was Halloween. Here Halloween. He remember. came into the Halloween, remember? Oh, dude, you were here on Halloween. Yeah, yeah, okay. We hung together. What's the, yeah, I played yeah. with Tony Siragusa. Oh, man, I'm a man. I've only been awake an hour. I'm sorry. Snake, how you doing? I'm doing real good. Uh, the only thing that you can't say is fuck. And shit. And shit. Yeah. Snake know knows that. I've called him about a dozen times to put him on the air without letting him know. <laughs> okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll just go live. We'll go live with him. Pick out the skit. What skit to Uh, monkey business. Hey, Snake. Yeah, bro. You playing the rip party? Rumor has it. How kooky is that? Dude, if we do this, it's gonna be mayhem. Dude, you're going to do it. It's gonna be mayhem. It's gonna be insane. Yep. Scott okay. says, it's okay. gonna happen. I go, oh, man, I couldn't be happier. Dude, this could be great. I didn't even want to throw a party. Then I heard this, I go, okay. <laughs> uh, this will work. How could you not want to throw a party? Because, you know, I'm involved in all this shit, other shit, and I just didn't want the headache, but, huh. Dude, <laughs> you guys coming in reignites my little faith in this gig. Holy, dude, it'll be ruthless. Yeah, ruthless. Totally ruthless. We're, we're going to get everybody in the town. I'm going to call everybody. <laughs> oh, good deal. I'll get the crew guys there for sure. Oh, you have to. Well, they're going to be in town. They're going to be mixing the record by then. 30 okay. seconds. 20 seconds, guys. Yeah. All right, we're going to go live, Snake. Okay, bud. Hey, Snake. Hey, good to talk to you again, man. Too, bro. Hey, man. Uh, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> At the same time. No, I've, got, I've got an air check. No, I'm good. It's fine. I'm too. I'm just gonna throw it to you. You want, to, you want me to do it or you do it? Throw it to him. Your mic is live. This is X103 with Lon Friend. I've taken over Slam and Sam's show. And the first thing I do is call my friend Snake Samo from Skid Row. <laughs> What's up? And he's sick. He's got the poops like I do. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't give Butt Lake the pig the, your, your stomach flu, man. Dude, I think you have a team this year. I do. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. The Colts rule, dude. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, oh yeah! Okay. Tony's Goose. Plug. We, we hung together, you and I, Tony. Plus, he's too big to piss off, you know? You gotta kiss the mask when you get that big, you know? That's right. He looks like... <laughs> he looks like two large uh, sows carrying a desk down the street. I mean, you know... The... Yeah, Snake loves sows. He owns a pig, you know? I heard that. Butt lick. <laughs> hey, Snake. I just want to say that your performance on Saturday Night Live last weekend was quite historic. You had no lines, dude. <laughs> <laughs> was it really cool. beer? Was it really beer? Oh, wow. That right. <laughs> That's great, man. The way you guys drink beer, it could have been a telethon instead of just a TV show. <laughs> yeah. Are you stocking up? <laughs> and write and write heavy tunes. You write new tunes? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Does Butt Licks the Pig have any influence on your writing these days? Absolutely. Cool. <laughs> Talking with Snake and Skid Row. Solid Rock 103, the X, 17 after 3. Hey, man. I, how did you have? How did you pick up this bug? I mean, everybody here at the station's had it. Lon's got it. Does Butt Licks the Pig have it? That's going to be a bulletin if he does, man. Wow. I, the almighty pig. There's something special in that. So, so Snake, when are you coming to L.A., man? I know you are. Can we start the hugest rumor right here in Indianapolis?
seventh anniversary yeah. party. Yeah. And Skid Row hasn't made an appearance in any uh, of any kind ex since Sebastian sang Hair of the Dog with Guns N' Roses and Metallica at the fifth party. And that was the last time we had a member of Skid Row, and now I have the whole band. I'm so excited, man. So right now we're basically just working on some new material, and hopefully some... Perhaps debut a couple new tunes. Oh, cool. We haven't played together a while. Wow. This is awesome, man. Well, that's the topic of the morning. <laughs> You know what's good is um is uh what's the drug you take when you when you can't stop it? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I had dysentery from Mexico a few years ago. Lomatil. Oh, dude, it plugs you like a <laughs> cork. <laughs> it sucks. It and then getting back to normal is another trek into the unknown. Uh. Then you got to go high fiber for two weeks. Uh. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about other things. So, dude, should we play a tune? Yeah, I'm ready. We, are you queued up? We're ready to go. All right, dude. Skid Row, man. I played every week on my show. They played here at the X, and this is monkey business. And Snake, you rule. Thanks, All right, man. But feel like, better. But like rules. But like rules. <laughs> dude, that's cool. Right on. Hey, guy. Nice talking to you. You too. Hey, I'll Snake. You guys feel Uh-oh. better, and I'll I'll see you. You know. Soon. Oh, I, don't see before that wish, I wish you were playing golf in Pebble in October. I wish I was too. Scott will be there, huh? Oh, oh of yeah. course. Doc too, yeah. What's it for? Oh. It's, uh, it's the annual Pebble Beach Kelly Barrett golf. Oh, uh, see, you can't. It'll take me 20 years to get in that fucking thing. I know. It's tough. Uh, but it rules. Yeah. Yeah. Mata isn't even in Some it. of the better No, he didn't even, he doesn't even play in it. He doesn't even count it anymore. Yeah. yeah. But it, it's fun, man. I played a couple days ago in, in Calabasas. It was fun. How'd you shoot? Uh, like an 86. Good man. Yeah. I played yesterday for a tournament up for a radio station in, uh, in Long Island. Mm hmm That was terrible because I was sick as a dog. You know, Snake shot a 78 recently. Really? Yeah. From yep. the Red Chiefs? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Never That's have I ever had a play with my dick out. <laughs> but he, he, he skipped about the windmill hole, though. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I got the loop to loop. Oh, man. All right, bro. I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks man. man. Nice talking to you again, buddy. Yeah. These guys take care of yourself. I hope to see you soon. Feel better. Uh, see you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Here's some good ones. Hi, wow. Keisha Lee, Kiss with Lon, Vince Neil, and well, that's the top ten reasons, and then just had oh, a bit about Bon Jovi would beat Sebastian Bach. No, I feel like that. Bon Jovi would get killed if he tried to hit Sebastian Bach. <laughs> I read that in the magazine. Six inches you know, taller and outweighed well, we by about uh, 50 pounds. We can, uh, we can do a couple, we can do like a best of the X thing here, and, and we can do one more song. You know, two for two on the phoners. <laughs> Want to go again? You got four lines live, baby. x Mile 3, hi. Hello. Hello, who's this? This is Sandy. Hi, Sandy, how are you? Fine. Would you like to talk to Slam and Sam and Juan Friend? Oh, yeah. Okay, take your clothes off. Okay. All right, All now, right. what's on your mind? Three o'clock every day they come off. They do? Why? Because I gotta listen to Sam. You take your clothes off to listen to Sam? Well, of course. Let me ask you a question. And no one does that to listen to my show on Saturday <laughs> night. Don't bet on it. They already oh, have their clothes off when you're off. Don't bet on it. <laughs> They're naked by the time you hit the airway. Sandy, what's up? Oh, no, good. Uh, Good. You're just Jack checking out of being a, a, a just, I'm sorry? You gotta jackal me off today, since I'm not going tonight. Wait a minute. That's a good, that's a good thing to do. Hold on. Sandy, what's up? Oh, uh, no. What? Sandy, what's up? Say, I want Lon to jackal me off. Say that on the count of three. One, two, three, go. I want Lon to jackal me off. Oh, man. Rocky will enroll you while he's at it. What an oh, offer. Definitely. We have the technology. We can do that. All right. Thanks a lot, Sandy. Yeah. Bye. Okay, we have another line. Who would you like to call? Uh, gee, I don't know. Let's see. Isn't that Conversation made me have to take a shit. <laughs> Nobody home. Who? I, in case somebody answers, who are we talking to? And there's no anyone answer. Adam Stanley. 
Sponsored by Budweiser. Last December, before the Damn Yankees Jackal show, Ted Nugent stopped by X103. No. Oh, uh, pretty much some t shirts. No. And some of the new issue of the magazine. No. So let's give them away here in Indianapolis. My God! Woohoo! All right, so what are we going to do? First 10 callers? First 10 callers. And I was thinking of a trivia question, but why don't they just make it real easy? Who's on the cover of the new issue, the November issue of Rip Magazine? The first 10 callers will get a shirt or a hat. 239X103. Lon Friend is with us. And yeah. we're going to rock from Black right. Radio Saturday night. Thank Bob you. I'm only in L.A. At this, guy, at this time of day. and uh, I'm in my office doing bull at <laughs> this time of day. And he's uh, with us for the duration this afternoon, of course, yep. for the party. That's right. Nice to have you in Indianapolis. I'm here to see all my great fans. So we're going to call some more of them, are we not? Yeah. We're going to get on the phone and irritate some more people here. Let's do it, man. All right, man. Let's go play. Uh, let's play a song first. There, we'll be back. Solid Rock, 103 DX. Okay. Let me clear a line here. Hi, X103. Huh? Sam, this is Dave Video, dude. Uh, Dave, we already have somebody to take care of it. You got it. We sure do. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Bye, bye. What's that now? He's he's doing something at his office. Who is? My Scott is going. Scott is. Yeah, yeah. He'll be getting open it up there in a minute. Scott is doing something in his office. Yeah, and he'll open up Michael's office. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he's busy. He'll do the Did you tell him that we have people calling in like like mad? No. Uh, we have a contest going on. Well, I told him you guys won't get away stuff. So yeah, they're calling now. Okay, it's cool. We need to get, we need we need it open right now. X103, hi, hold the line. You're a winner, okay? Okay. X103, you're a winner. Can you just hold the line? Yeah. Hey, hang on. Mm -hmm. Hi, X103, hold the line, okay? Uh -huh. Hi, X103. Hi there, hold on, okay? Okay. Hey, do try this number. 213-257-4443. Oh, rock star noise. We're calling. You have reached the number, which is this. <laughs> All right, I got you. 213. 213. 257. 257. 4443. Oh, is this Philly? Oh, that's 215. No, this is 21. This is that way. I'm sure it's possible, because I haven't called in like five months, so it's kind of possible that someone would be All right. Oh, we that one. Let's try one more time. Tomorrow. Wait, you're gonna do it. You're gonna, you're gonna answer the phones in there. Oh, okay. you're gonna say hi. You know, what's the answer? Duff McKagan, right, Lon? Okay. Yeah, that was Dean from Stone Temple Pilot. You need to call on the regular line, 239X103. You're doing it on the cellular line. Oh, that's all right. Well, you're a winner. You're Hold a winner. on. <laughs> the guy on the news line is also a winner. All right. Cross that one off. And. Lon, what happened to Coverdale Page tour? The tour never happened. Yeah, what happened to me? Why? Jimmy didn't want to leave England. Oh shit. Yeah. What about? Uh, Maybe it was all court, but Jimmy didn't want to do it. Huh? Yeah. Anybody else you want to try? Uh. I'm thinking. Let me think for a second. Oh. I don't want to bother him. I'll go ahead and run a little bit. Did he? Did you hear the one of uh, with uh? Uh, Blades and Shaw playing uh, Story Monday. Yeah, I, I, he sent me a copy of that. Oh, did he? 
That was good. Those guys are great on the radio. I played it like uh, probably about three o'clock, three thirty this morning. We played the uh, night. We played Blue yeah. Collar Man. Sorry, we played Blue, Blue Collar Man. Man. Did you? Session, yeah, earlier today. Yeah, I saw that in there. I didn't get a chance to do it. No social security, you need to get name, address, and age, okay. and a phone number where they can be reached at day and day and nighttime hours, and, and tell them that they can pick their stuff up beginning um, Monday, Monday, during regular business hours. Okay. Ted's in the Is he bowing now? No, actually, today he's in Dallas. Might be able to snag to... Okay, here we go. Um, 93213, 933-2647. Hey, Lon. X103 with Lon Friend on the radio. Wow, I sound so heavy now. <laughs> Sam, you have one of those DJ voices. Yeah, it sure is. It's a really good voice. Thank you. You know, the first time you and I talked was when I called you. You were doing uh, Pirate Radio Saturday night, and I had attempted to jump. You know how people jump uh, school buses with motorcycles. Right. <laughs> I, you remember this? <laughs> and uh, I jumped a, a, a motorcycle with a school bus. Didn't quite clear it, of course. Right. Tore the motorcycle all to hell. Wow. Smeared it all over the Hoosier Dome. It's okay, of course, because it was not a Harley Davidson. You know, I called Daphne from Melrose Place earlier. She plays Joe, and she rides that Harley on the show because her boyfriend fixes the Harley. Mm -hmm. And she told me recently that she has to take this this 16-hour uh, Harley class to learn how to ride the bike properly because she has a four. She just got a brand new like it's like a seven thousand dollar Harley. It's, it's really a way beautiful. of life. It's, it really is. Yeah. Though. It's like you get they got a feel that no the bike has. But chicks on Harley, uh, that's got to uh, give you a major Woody, doesn't that it? Turns me on. What about you, Ralphie? <laughs> Slightly. Nothing I like more than seeing a, a, a just a real slender blonde chick on a yeah. wrapped around fourteen hundred cc with fat box. Yeah, you know? Down here, we can talk Harley talk now. Yeah. Just the guys here. We got people calling in right and left, and they are winning the uh, stuff that Lon gave away a few minutes ago. Two three nine X one zero three. I think yeah. we still have about uh, two or three bunches of stuff to give away. Yeah, on. we got lots of ma we got lots of magazines too. So if you want to call up and get a free copy of the new issue, you brought uh, tons of things with you to give away. Well, so as much as much as I could FedEx. <laughs> How much can one FedEx? 
That's what we're going to find out today here, uh, friend. Okay. And uh, we're also going to call and irritate some more of Lon's friends on the West Coast. We're trying, up. man. We got a couple of real answer, uh, uh, cool answering machines that. Uh, yeah, are I called. Weird. Yeah, I called uh, Rob Zombie from White Zombie, and we got his machine. And I guess it's his girlfriend's voice because she doesn't sound like Rob. She sounds like real up and happy and stuff. <laughs> and Rob she is real dark and distant. <laughs> she also sounded very 18-ish. Oh, <laughs> I think she's youthful. Yes. I would say that would be a good call. We tried calling Dean DeLeo from Stone Temple Pilots, but his is disconnected. So I guess I haven't uh, talked to him in a while. That's Rockstar Machine when you hear... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm sorry. Wyland has a new hairdresser now, doesn't he? Yeah. It's I mean, a, it's a, a, pink, a yeah. watercolors company. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to do... What, what did you request here, man? You requested... I want to hear some... Uh, you got it. On the X. Okay. Secretary number, let her work on this a little bit. Okay. Do you want some coffee or something? What are you drinking? Uh, no, just water. Did you put a new pot on? Do you have Abby in or something? Or what do you I got water. I'm fine. Okay. Oh, wow. 310. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hi, Kevin. Can you bring that party down and see if you uh, have a clear signal? Oh, let me see. 789, 1011. Actually, uh, it's coming and going. Is it supposed to? Oh, I'm turning on. Oh, well, that would be why. Um, let me try. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, sounds pretty good. I'm gonna try Marty two. Um, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-two. Okay, try Marty two. Two, 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 three, four, five. Marty, six, Marty eight, two is nine. better, but he's talking too close to the mic, so it sounds a little distorted. But Marty two is louder. As I can see it over there, what do you think, Alan? Two, three, four, okay. two, 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 two. Actually, Mar I'm sorry, Marty one is better. There's a little interference on two. So. Okay, so there's a little interference on too? Yeah, it sounds to me like there is. You guys listen to me. Um, uh, you want me to stay here? Time in, have him back off the mic and count to ten. Hey, we, we, okay. Back off and count to ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, uh, Kevin? Yeah. Correction, Marty, two is fine. He was just talking too close to the mic. Okay. All right, uh, I'm going to just leave the live mic open. It's inside the boat right now. You're going to leave it live? There's a live mic up inside the boat right now. Cool, all right. I'll, I'll make a note here and make everybody aware of it. Hear it? Yeah, I can hear the, I can hear the room noise. Okay. Now, we're just going to leave that up and we're going to head back to sleep. Okay, buddy. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Right, Sorry, Lionel, who are you? Uh, 310-858-7155. Record went gold. White Zombie went gold this week. Did it? Five three nine. Like 30 times. Where's Christina? Where's Denise? Where's my interns? 
I don't know. I would have to pay some. Have you seen anybody? I just got back to the phone last night long ago. I don't know where they went before I left the bank. Okay. Well, you, you give them this number, okay? Okay. Whoever walks in first is the one that's not going to get fired. So have them dial this number. Okay. 317. Uh -huh. What's the number? 921. 921. Uh -huh. 6633. 6633. Right. Okay. All right. Okay, Lana. Have fun. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, we have a Best of the X clip coming up. Do you want to hear this? Yeah. Best of the X clip is sponsored by Budweiser. For one week during oh. May. Max in the morning did a series of shows called Sex on the X Week. Thanks a lot. We did this. Max on a call to porn superstar. Oh, I got to hide. I was never there with you guys in person. If you, if you look as good as your voice sounds. Ooh. What do we do? Let's send her some pictures, baby. Are you ready for a movie? <laughs> hey, I'm ready for a movie part. What about you, Max? I'm ready for a movie part. Well, I can give you a few parts. Well, that brings me to the next question. Stop it. No, no, not no, 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 no. I got you to get it in here. Question. All right, if you want me in a movie with you. Yeah, no, I get it. All right. Hello? Hello? Hi. Rick Hudnall. Hey, Rick, how you doing? We're in the middle of a big interview, buddy. Are you going to show up tonight? Uh, I plan on being there, yes, sir. All right, well, you're a, you're a cop, so you can probably do anything you want. Uh, <laughs> yeah, i got to get off the phone here, man. Tell Lon he kicks ass, man. Hey, you want to say hi to Lon? Sure. Say hi to him. Lon. Oh, he can't hear you. He's listening to the radio. Uh-oh. All right. All right, buddy. Come, uh, keep doing a good job. Thanks a lot, pal. Hey, thanks for calling. See you next. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank God, Turner, his radio show. Come on, radio. Thank you when I get to town. I'm going to be next. Can you just spank, <laughs> can you just spank me right now? Oh, I wish I could. <laughs> Thank you, long distance. Uh, oh. A long distance spanking. I hope you're going to come see me, because I want to spank you and give you a good time. <laughs> what is the sexiest thing a guy can say to a girl? Oh, now, yeah. what a question. We're giving her your phone number. Uh -huh. We're giving her your phone number. Everybody's got their different, um, different terms and ear candy and that kind of thing. For me, I like dirty talk. Have you ever heard of that movie or seen it? It's a better over called Talk Dirty to Me. Mm, I, I started Dude, that. Did you? Yeah, I, reviewed no, was, huh? I reviewed that film for Hustler. Did you really? <laughs> Ten seconds. Okay, Lon, would you like to open this up, illuminate this on this? Well, first of all, Sam, I was somewhat responsible for you having Hyapatia Lee that week. I knew that. Because my career in publishing started in 1981 at Hustler Magazine. And for the first couple of years, I was like an editor. I did this and that. But then, in 1983, I became the porno critic, and I used to give the ratings the full... Hold on one second, man. <laughs> Hold on. Time out. What does a porno critic do? I have a with Lon Fran on X103. We want to know what a porno critic, critic does. I would rate the films. Okay. For what Hustler, if you got okay. a fully erect, it meant you were a hot film. If you got a totally limp, it meant the film was weak. <laughs> so you literally... Just and this was in the days where they would have 35 millimeter film and you go to a screening. And I was one of the four most important critics as I was with the big magazine. So they would invite us every uh, like Friday afternoon down to the screening room. and. The first film that Hyapatia Lee ever made was a film called uh, Some Like It Hot, okay? It mm -hmm. was her first film. She was this little Indian girl with long black hair. She was like something nobody had ever seen before. So she was sitting in the theater next to me while I was reviewing this film. And this really hardcore scene, you know, uh, you know she's getting banged really hard in this and scene. Sitting right next and she's sitting right next to me. And I look at her and I go, so... It, are you are you acting there? Or is that like, is that the real deal? And she looked at me, and I'll never forget. She looked at me, her eyes. She was like 19 at the time. She said, "That's the real deal." <laughs> <laughs> I did that for two years, man. I did those movies, and Perks. you know, she mentioned Talk Dirty to me in that. I reviewed Talk Dirty to me. I remember that film. What did you give it? Did you give it a, a stiffy? Yeah, a I think it got a three. A uh, you got a three quarters, as I recall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have some commercials. We'll be back. Okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah. True story. <laughs> Phones are ringing off the hook. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, they've been most positive. God damn it. I highly suggest everyone bring their dinosaur junior earplugs. I need some plugs. I don't have them right now. You're about the only band where you don't need earplugs.
Okay, let's do the freeze. I've got uh, spares. Right back, back and do more commercials. Yeah, freeze. It's about my staff not answering okay. my fucking telephone. <laughs> then we'll have to do more commercials. Uh, but we'll go right out of this in the freeze. Sammy, Lon, I'll see you guys there. I'll Later, guys. Go, go All right, now we. Uh, I'll see you, Scott. Okay, thanks, Ralphie boy. <coughs> That's the whole idea behind Make It Night. We take the best shows from different periods of the world. A minute, 20 seconds, I'll forward to you. We're going to let your staff know. 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 That's a good one. Scott, stands are up. Sam. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have said. Mother. This is that. Mother is the new version. Yeah, Dan Zig 93. We'll play that, too. It's killer, too. Yeah. Killer, too. I was into that record when it came out in 80. That's like 10 years ago, yeah. Oh, cool. 88 it came out. Not 88. Saturday night here in the studio. Normally in L.A. at this time of day, but with us uh, here for our first anniversary bash, and uh, we were just talking about Lon being, uh, he started out as a porn critic, now he's a rock star. <laughs> We tried to make a phone call a second ago. I'm uh, trying to call my office because my whole staff should be there when I'm not there. Sure. You know, I have a lot of businesses going. You know, Absolutely. Rip Magazine, Album Network. I do, I'm do. i doing a soundtrack for Fox for a movie called Airhead starring Adam Sandler from Saturday Night Live. Of course we and are. I expect there's a lot of people calling me on a daily basis. Well, it rang 30 times in my <laughs> office and nobody answered the phone. So I left a violent message with the receptionist because some heads are going to roll. Somebody doesn't answer my phone soon. How'd you like that one, Meg? I like that one. <laughs> ah! That was great. You sure you got the right track? <laughs> That's free will burning. Yeah, you got the wrong track. <laughs> Some free wheels are going to burn, and that's a serious track. Yeah. Let's stop it. Go on. Let's stop it. Hey, Max. That's the wrong song, man. Gonna you, roll there. you totally blew my segue. <laughs> and I told you you were hey such man, a great job. These, 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 <laughs> each. Let me, let me give it a tell all week. Anyway, I was talking to my staff. They weren't there, so some heads are going to roll if they don't answer my phone. And you told them the first person to walk in and show up for, for work gets to keep their job. Get fired. Here's some. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I didn't recognize that first riff. I said, oh, that's... Uh, hi. Hello. Hello. Hey, is Lon from here? Yes. yes. Oh. Hi, Lon. This is Rob, Zombie, Stuff, and Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Hi. I was calling for him. Hold on. Here he is. Oh, okay. Cool. Hello. Hi, dude. Hi. Rob Zombie, you got my message. Oh, yeah. I just got it. Well, I didn't want to disturb you on your week off. That's all right. I'm disturbed that way. But I'm I'm on WRZX in Indianapolis celebrating their one year anniversary, and X I brought my phone book with me. X103, it's a great station. Sebastian wasn't home. <laughs> no, Gut Gutter wasn't home. <laughs> no, dude, I I call, I'm calling all my favorite rockers. Oh yeah. <laughs> so anyway, just like, how's it going? All right. Are you taking some time off? Or are you going on the road again? We're going back on the road. Absolutely. You know, I congratulate you. You're you're gold now, right? Yep. How about that, man? It's pretty bizarre. Pers Congratulations, man. Yeah. yeah Persistence. This is uh, this is Slamming Sam on the uh, X. I'm the afternoon guy here hey, at the X. You're a you're a, you're a hell of a hell of a musician. I, I appreciate your work, and we're we're gonna put you on a radio if it's cool. Sure. You, wanna be, you wanna be on the air? Yeah, sure. Okay. Rules are I can't say fuck or shit. <laughs> Everything else is fine. Everything else is fine. <laughs> Everything else is fine. Very you could yeah. drop names, yeah. Nine speed dildos, you know, you can talk about. Should we put, you want to tape with them now? Or do you want to put them on live? Uh, I trust uh, Rob. Actually, we only have two minutes left, so it's, uh, it's a trickle. Yeah. It's, uh, it doesn't matter. We can, uh, you know, tape them and call some other people. Is that what you want to keep no, I got no, I got nobody I'll else to what, call. Why don't we, um, are you in a hurry? Yeah, well, he's, it's, I don't want to bug him at home. He's doing this as a favor to me, right, Rob? I'm only in a hurry because it's long distance. <laughs> oh, you're done. Let me call you back. Oh, okay. I'll call you right back. All right. In two minutes. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. -bye. Uh, no, your call. I just uh, so we'll I do call him back and then we... and then uh, you can go live or on tape. Well, you yeah. tell me. You're the guy running right the board. Uh, let's, no, let's call go. him back right let's after the let's board. Go live. Let's go live. Okay. Hi, Terry. How are you? Terry, this is our photographer. Terry, this is Lion Brown. Hi. 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 H
the CD player did fuck me because I had I had number seven cued really? up. In fact, I cued it twice. We have a lot of problems with uh, that one. It's been repaired in the four times. <clears throat> and it also stops in the middle. It's quick. Hey, it's that's what we... Here. Yeah, we replaced the tendons with the regular CD players at our, at our studio. Yeah, we these these are uh, they last week man it, it fucked me about three times. I had wrong cuts play. I, I had a, a deal where I set it up and I said here's the song and we're done and blah 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 blah. David Lee Roth had just released blah blah blah. Hit it and it was the wrong goddamn song. I was furious. But you know I've been through it like twice in the last week so I'm kind of getting used to it now. Okay, we'll do a. I'll let you do a short segue into commercials, and uh, or I will. You do it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Just tell everybody we're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is Lon Friend on X103, the rockin' station in Indianapolis. And they're celebrating their one-year anniversary, and I have flown cross-country to be here, almost across the country. It's the Midwest, but it's long enough on a plane for me. Exactly. Thank you. And we're going to some commercial breaks now. Then when we get back, I'm going to try Rob Zombie at home again. On the X. This has become one of the most critically acclaimed motion pictures of the year. When was the last time you heard praise like this? Uh, we have three minutes. No. And we should play some Kiss. Come out of the way, zombie phone call. That's who they worship. Well, the okay. Call you, okay? Okay, I okay. He's, he's here fine in one piece. Okay, thanks. All right, bye bye. You need to do in your life. Let me talk to. Let me ask hey, uh, dude, give him your address, and if I don't have one here, we'll send you one, okay? How about that, man? That's cool. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Listening to the X has its benefits, huh? And reading Rip has its benefits. That's it. Okay. Hold on, okay? Sure. Hold, hold on. <laughs> All right, and what is it? 213 933. Two six four seven. From Furrow, we're going live. Yep. Hey, dude. Hey. We're just going to do it live for a couple minutes. Okay? Uh, then I'm going to play some Then I'm going to play some kids. Just 30 seconds. <coughs> 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay. This is Lon Friend on X103. I'm in Indianapolis. I'm from Los Angeles, which means I know people's phone numbers in Los Angeles. And one of them is Rob Zombie from White Zombie. Hi, Rob. Hey. How are you, dude? <laughs> you, you, you gave it to me. <laughs> well, this is an emergency. I'm trying to look really important here in Indianapolis. He's Hoosier for a day, man. <laughs> I got his number here, too. <laughs> Dude, listen, first, in all sincerity, congratulations on White Zombie's gold record. I mean, if I had an audience, I'd be glad. In, in the face of metal adversity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did it against all the odds, and that's what the coolest thing about it is. I mean, tireless touring. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, uh, you're going out and you're going to play some more, right? You're going to tour some more. You coming in this part of the country for the listeners here in, on RZX? Yeah? Whoever missed White Zombie any time around, a highly satanic concert. <laughs> That's the kind of thing. I, I meant that figuratively, of course. <laughs> anyway, so take it easy, man. Just, I didn't want, you just want, didn't want to bug you. I just wanted to say congrats and, you know, just keep, you know, keep going from here. Are you doing another video? Did you shoot another one? Yeah, don't. We got two other ones that they never played. So we <laughs> <laughs> give, it a, give it a year. 
sure. That's great. You don't have to invest in any of that stuff now. <laughs> Way caught up. The White Zombie compilation's coming out soon. The future of White Zombie. Hey, you know, that's it, man. As soon as one breaks, then you can pull all the dust off all everything. That's right. Congratulations. I understand you're a big Kiss fan. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's play some Kiss. What are you going to play? Dr. Love? Okay. You inspired it, man. Uh, okay, thanks. Rob Zombie, White Zombie, Live Friend on X103. Wow, I hit the post. <laughs> I'm almost like a real jock now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guy. Hi. Hey, Rob. Yeah. I'll see you on the road, maybe. Okay. Who, cool. who are you taking out? We don't know yet. Doesn't matter. We can't figure it out. Yeah. Maybe anthrax. <laughs> 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 I'll see you, bud. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye. Cool. Good call. <laughs> that, great. that must have been happy. It was a uh, great time. We also had Jesse James Dupree here. We did like a 10 minute version of Let's Make It Up the Blues. Let's Make Up the Blues as we go kind of thing, you know? It was, it was great. We had Ted in one chair, Jesse in the other chair, and they just like sang their ass off like for hours. Jesse sent an ugly stripper to my studio one night <laughs> on my um, one year anniversary of Pirate Radio. And I, I called him the next day. I said, You sent a stripper to my studio. He goes, Yeah, was she ugly? <laughs> I said, Was she supposed to be? Yes. <laughs> well, then she was. <laughs> Thank you. On the X. Come to my office. Lon. What? Please went to lunch. Nobody has called. One phone call at 12 o'clock. Does it mean that no one should be there in my office? No, there's nothing going on. The only time we ever do this is when you're out of town. How do you know nobody's, nothing's going on, Christina? Because it's been quiet as a mouse for two days. What does that mean? Because we decided to take a lunch. We usually do it when you're out of town or on payday. We do this every Friday, usually on payday. You know, I just dedicated Heads Are Gonna Roll to you guys. Well, thank you, Lon. You're welcome. Heads Aren't Gonna Roll, Lon. You know, you're never here. We are here all the time. And once a week, taking a lunch together, or once every two weeks, is it gonna kill the office? Nothing went wrong here. Everything's fine. I come in and Darlene's like, Lon's bucket, kids, Lon's... And we were gone for exactly one hour. We don't abuse the system. We do what we're legally entitled to once every two weeks. Oh, good. And when you're here, there is somebody here. But if nothing's going on, and Stephanie's been here since 10.30, Denise has been here since 10, and we all want to go to lunch. Is there going to be any more work? Okay. Very good argument. Thank you. How's it going? It's going good. I mean, there's nothing going on. I talked to Snake, you know. No Snake? Says, looks like they're playing. Well, I called Scott today. Scott walked in the office and left. And I said, Melissa, well, you're supposed to call me yesterday, so... She said she'd have him call me as soon as he got in. He still has a call. Well, anyway, I talked to him and I, I put him on the radio. So they're going to do it? Yeah, sounds like it. Well, I don't want this getting people routing the word, you know? No, it's just been on in Indianapolis, okay, that's well, all. I don't want people calling, you know, labels, finding out. And oh, no, we'll keep it We'll keep it quiet. I, I just did it in Indianapolis. Okay, that's okay. cool. So? So, Snap and them. Um, it looks good for five. They're just looking at the logistics. So I'm, I told them, I said, you look, you guys, I'm assuming everything's fine. Right. So I'm going with my bill. Okay. So everybody knows that. Okay. I got Rob, put Rob Zombie and Daphne on the air. Wonderful. Yeah, that was cool. Did you call Daphne now? Yeah. Put her on. I asked her if I could audition for the role of, of, of her new boyfriend, because Heather's getting her old boyfriend. Heather's getting her old boyfriend? Yeah, you know, on the show. Boyfriend coming in? You know, the biker guy. He's going to go to Heather now. Oh, Grant. Yeah, yeah Grant. Yeah, show. Grant show's gonna start. Yeah, That's that. right. It's heavy stuff. Very heavy stuff. Yeah. But you're blowing it for us. You're not going to be excited. What? You're finding out too much. Before you get I know. Well, that's all right. So, listen. Any rockers that, that you can get to call in while I'm on the air for the next um, hour and a half? Yeah, give him this number. Okay. I'm, I've been on for an hour and a half. I'm on for another hour and a half. I will take care of it. And your tirade just now is going to make great radio. Wonderful. <laughs> I will, um, let me make some calls. Let me see if I can get at least a girl. I think they're at least, you know, on, on, off tour and breaking. So let me see if I can get them and I'll, I'll get some people. Yeah, but don't, don't give me any cheese bags like Shotgun Messiah and shit like that. that. What? You think I'm going to do that? I mean, you, uh, the next thing I know, you'll have like... An ex member of Kick Tracy calling me up. No, I would never do that. I'm not stupid. I'm the one running the magazine now. Oh, <coughs> like, oh, yeah. Are we on speakerphone? Yeah, everybody hears oh, you. Geez. <laughs> <laughs>
complete lap so she can hear how many people are here. Hey. How are you? <laughs> it's got 11, 11 people listening to you in silence. We're fighting and you're letting everybody listen. Because I'm taping you, too. Oh, Jesus. I think, uh, I don't know. That's Slam and Sam. He's my jock here. How you doing? Yeah. Hi, how are you? I am fine. I am moved by the amount of, uh, of change in your personality. I mean, you've gone from hostile to uh, <laughs> inside of five minutes. That's me and Lon's relationship. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been in a lot of relationships. <laughs> yeah, but we've been doing this for seven years. Hey, uh, right. that's, that's, that's Tina, work. Call, call, call Brad and see if we can get um, Hyapatia Lee to call me here. Okay. All right? Because they had her on, they used her in this Best of series that they're doing for the one year anniversary. Okay. Or Savannah. Savannah would be even better. She's really hard. She's, she's yeah, but Stevie could track her down. I will see what I can do. Yeah, don't, don't kill yourself or whatever you can do. Okay, guys. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. I'll to call you. Huh? I'll get Striper's old drummer to call. Striper's drummer? Uh, I'm God, you're hilarious. <coughs> All right. All right, baby. See you. Bye. Bye. So, hey, uh, Sam, I, uh, go back to just where she's rat rattling, okay? okay? And let's just run that that spot. Where she's just going off on me that, that she never gets to take a lunch and shit. That's so good. How are you doing? Really <coughs> no, not really. She loves me. Though. So everybody knows that. Didn't you hear the worship? I got Ralph Wilson. Right? 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 But she, you know, she's been with me six years. Um, I beat the shit up. Oh, yeah. You don't abuse the system. That's the part there. She, she lives with her boyfriend. Uh, well, what? Together. This whole party is so good. Reds are going to roll to you guys. Well, thank you, Lon. You're welcome. <laughs> Reds aren't going to roll, Lon. You know, you're never here, and we are here all the time. But once a week taking a lunch together, or once every two weeks isn't going to kill the office. Nothing went wrong here. Everything's fine. I come in and don't like Lon's fucking kids. Lon. Okay, I gotta, that's, that's where I got Wow. Man. Loosh. Sure, you want me to edit it out for you? Uh, hey, can we get some girl on the guest list tonight? She didn't get tickets. She sent you flowers. Well, here, here's the part. She called my show last Saturday trying for me to. I come in and don't like Lawrence Buggy. Lawrence. And we were gone. And we were waiting. Slicing out that fuck, what do you Yeah, you want me to run the board? X-103 with Lon Friend on the radio in Indianapolis. My home is L.A., but right now my heart is in Indianapolis. And we're about to find out where your staff has been all day. <laughs> we're going to find out <laughs> where my staff has been all day. But first, let's cue up the big hit in America right now. Blind Helen with Lon Friend <laughs> on it. One oh three. Good job. <coughs> hey, Lon, you know this guy Shannon is from Lafayette, Indiana. I Same mean, as old Shannon. Bill Everything's fine. Yeah, I know. I come in. Yeah, I know that what? kid since he was, you know, well, well, auditioning for Gun when he was singing with Guns N' Roses when, way back. I, I, I tell a good Shannon Hoon story. It's his real name, Shannon Hoon. It seems like yeah. everybody out of Lafayette changes their name. No, that's his name. Yeah. Him and Axel were pals, huh? Yeah. yeah. You, uh, I got somebody called me up. Said he was from Lafayette. Said, oh, he's this or his, his Axel Rose's mother doesn't care, and that his mother he's hates Axel hair. Rose. Well, he Axel hates his parents. That, that, his, that, that his mom. <laughs> he only likes his brother like, and his sister. It was really sweet. It was tripping me out. Oh, his his mother hates him. Down and down and I can call him up anytime, anytime, anytime I want. And I'm like, well, do it right now over my show, man. You some bullshitter. I didn't know he was leaving or not. Get some weird ass, dude, especially when you're doing Jinx's show. God. You need me for anything else or phones or anything? Yeah, I want to get these phones. Yeah, phones. yeah. Okay. Just get the phones and, uh, you know, X103. And if they sound really hot and they really want to talk to me, then we'll Okay, so you think it's something good, yeah, for the moment. Okay, that's cool. I mean, so if they're awesome, cool. I'll talk to them. They have teeth and speak in sentences or sound. Okay. I got to get this girl on the guest list. Even if she looks like Roseanne, she looks nice of her to sing flowers. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting on 
Are you going to run this call after the song? I was going to, but it was like, there's not a goddamn fucking ready to play. Well, then just so go well. past the uh, fuck and we'll just. Actually, there's I'll a couple of like three fucks in there. There is? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Chaba. Chaba. Do you know the bass player of Gateway? Bye. We're going like lots of fucking shit. Lots of. And we were. Yeah, I know. He said he just wanted, I don't know if you want to do something with him on air because he wants to wish everybody a happy person. Uh, I'll say something about it. Where are they, where are they tonight? Uh, I don't know. Hang on. Let me see where they are. Write it down. <coughs> X-103 with Lon Friend and Blind Melon. Shannon Hoon was at a um, Guns N' Roses show when they were in the Skid Row Guns N' Roses tour. It was like the first leg of the illusion, way back over two, two and a half years ago. And uh, at the LA Forum, um, they did Don't Cry, which is what they, you know, that's the song that Shannon wrote with Axel way back. So uh, Shannon's supposed to sing vocals on stage. Mm -hmm. Halfway through the show, Shannon is passed out drunk <laughs> backstage and I'm and I'm I'm like hanging with him I'm, I'm going dude what's up <laughs> and then he, he's just he's just not feeling good and, and and then Axel's looking for him as Don't Cry is starting Axel does Don't Cry by himself and Shannon starts to wake up he goes Axel's going to be so pissed at me I was, I was supposed to sing I go he won't be mad at you dude you guys are brothers you're from Indiana <laughs> you know don't worry Lafayette yeah and I haven't seen Shannon in such a long time and I miss him I think he was mad at me for a while and I don't know why but you know I probably could, gave like rock star attitude to him one time and I, I apologize how could a guy stay mad at a guy like you though Ron? I, I don't, Vince, Vince Neal will stay mad at me forever do you want to talk about that <laughs> not really no because you know he's, a, yeah. <laughs> he's also a little Things, don't you think? Yeah. Vince is a little bit on the fat side. Let's be honest here. I think I, Vince, Vince is, he's too short to start eating like. I think he and Roseanne. Uh, <laughs> 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 Look, at I'm on record. Vince doesn't like me. He never liked me when I came out on the road with Motley. I bonded with Tommy and Nikki, and, and I'd always have a good time. I went out on the road three times with them. Came back, and they were all. Vince would always talk crap about me, and I I really never did anything to him. I even played golf with them one time. But lately, Did you beat him? Oh, badly. Well, that's the thing. That's it. But I, I'm very close with uh, Nikki and Tommy, and, and I think that Vince resents that. And, and uh, you know, I thought Vince's record was mediocre. And, uh, like, he, he didn't really care about putting out a great record. He just sort of spit it out. And, uh, I don't know, he doesn't dig me, and that's okay. You know, God bless him. We have it, uh, we have publicly taken care of it now from your end of it. We have swept your side of the street. Slam and Sam, Lon Friend, <laughs> okay. Rock 103 DX. It's town with the first anniversary bash, and we're glad to have you here, man. Coming up, we're going to harass the people in your uh, office back in L.A. Thank you. Very good. We also have some music uh, coming up that we're not even aware of because we've thrown the format out the We're window. playing tunes that I want to hear mm. on this radio show. And there's more to come on 103 DX. Guys, there's a guy on line one that is, like, begging to talk to me. Oh, I gotta hear from my own friend. I was like trying to disguise my voice, you know, save him. You know, Dude, give him your address, and if I don't have one here, we'll take him. Christina from my office. Well, who do you sound like? What? I used to work who with? went to lunch? Nobody has called. One phone this? call at 12 o'clock. Does it mean that no one's in there in my office? One's at three and one's at four. The only time we ever do this is 
when you're at a class. How do you know nobody's, nothing's going on? Because it's been quiet as a mouse for two days. What does that mean? Because we decided to take a lunch. Out of town or on payroll. You like just a lie? Right, he's on line. Sammy, there's a guy on line. You know, I just dedicated him. Okay, tell him just to hold on. Yeah, hang on. Well, thank you, Lars. You're welcome. Okay, give that to Lars. Come on. You don't take, you don't take these, this whole show, do you? And I'd love to have an air check. You, you might have something down there where you tape and you guys have an air check machine. And we were gone for exactly one hour. We don't abuse the system. We do what we're legally entitled to once every two weeks. What the hell's happening here? It quit? This Thursday through Sunday at Galleon's Castleton store, it's the annual ski tent sale. The biggest sale of the year where you can find... How much dead air do we have? I don't know. About okay. okay. It's a very good argument. Thank you. <laughs> Santa, we all want to go to lunch. <laughs> Denise has been here since Santa, we all want to go to lunch. Okay. Well, her IQ is, that's her IQ, okay? Huh? And after that, you just, uh, I'm going to run, if it's cool with you, what we'll do is we'll run up like a minute of the call. Uh -huh. And you can just wrap it up by, here's her IQ. <laughs> and you can adjunct to this, whatever you want. Santa, we all want to go to lunch. <laughs> Okay. We kind of took a pause there and you were forgiving her, so I'll just cut her off at that point. And All right. Go. Okay. From my off office. What? 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 All right, now, you want to do the open live and say, um, I'll go, okay, hey, we're back with Lyle. We're trying to uh, I can just say, hello, Christina, go, where the hell have you been? I can just say that. Yeah, you can just say, Christina, where the hell have you been? Yeah. Thanks, Ralph. Uh, music. What do you want to hear? What do you want to play? What do you want to hear? Well, I don't know. What do you it's have to do? I mean, I'm going to be, uh, be, be at the party. Uh, I'm not going to be doing it there. She's like, she'd be on the camera. Tired. Mr. Big Wild World. Oh, guys. That's oh, that's horrible. Straight tape, as it is. I hate that. Oh, it's such a... How about Vince Neal? I don't think so. Anthrax. All right. Black Lodge? No. Pick play, one. Play, play only. To get play hands. Okay. Six one zero three. We're back. Slam it in. Line friend. Four thirty. No. Well, almost four thirty. You want to try this call again? Huh? Yeah. yeah. We're dialing it up. We have somebody on the line here. All right. You want to say hello? Christina, where the hell have you been? Good, only queued up. We do this every Friday, usually on payday. You know, I just The problem with Christina's attitude is that <laughs> at any given moment, John Bon Jovi could call me and ask me what I think of his new haircut. That could happen, right? Uh, or that's I, true. That's right. Or I could get a call from, uh, you know, Why Tom Mariah from, from Slayer asking me to guest vocal on the new record. You never know what happens in my office. The fact that they're eating lunch bothers me because they're not allowed to have lunch. Snake could call you and tell you that butt, butt like the pig has come down with some virus. <laughs> some, some horrible some, stomach virus. Horrible thing. Has and happened. he's spewing all over the head. Oh, God. Anything could happen. Well, I think, uh, I think you're a kind and, and gentle person. She, listen, her off in all sincerity, she's been with me six years. I do have other staff members. I don't know where they are today. But my RIP staff is very loyal. They have a lot to do. They're in Los Angeles. I'm in Indianapolis. I'm out of touch. Can we hear some anthrax now? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sam? Yeah. You have to be at the slow by six o'clock because the text I need to do for the interview you then. Yeah. So Mary right, told gonna, me to tell you that. You can take over here at any time. Yeah, right? well, whenever you want me to. I mean, I uh, just, Mary told me that to tell you that you have to be there by six. Oh, yeah. You're bad with time, and I should get you there by six. So. 
This guy in one wants to talk to me. She has I told me. Know. She has told me that five times. Yeah, if done. anybody has has it, I've got it. But yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Come What's up, dude? Dude, what's up, man? How you doing? All right, pretty good, man. It's pretty wild talking to you. Get these other well, I'm a wild guy. I know you're pretty cool. Thank you. Okay. Wait, say that again. What's up with the new Motley? The new Motley is, is now in, a, they're in their final stages of recording in Vancouver. They're in Vancouver finishing the recording. They got like 22 songs done. There's going to be, I think, 12 or 13 on the record. Oh, really? And um, they're mixing in L.A. and it'll be out beginning of February. Okay, cool. Yeah. How about Pantera? Is that coming out? Pantera's in the studio right now and they got about another three weeks left in the studio. Right. Their record will be probably be out December or January. Yeah, I caught their gig with White Comedy and Megadeth and they played some new material. It was really oh, yeah, heavy. that's awesome. It was really heavy, man. Yeah. That, um, uh, what about Fight? Are they going to be coming around the Midwest? Yeah, Fight's going to be touring okay. soon. All right, excellent. Yeah, that's a, it's a good record. What's, is, what, what else is out that um, have you heard that's pretty happening coming up? Oh, I don't know. Um, the new I like the Cathedral and the Entombed records. Right. Um, I'm just looking for new, you know, some new stuff. That I like the I Mother Earth record. Okay. Uh, does, um, I, uh, does Tool have a, a record of like Opiate? Tool? Yeah, Opiate. That's their new record. Oh, that's the new one? Yeah. Is there, is, there, is there something before that? Yeah, there's an EP that came out on an independent label that's before this one. Me to pick that up. It's, pretty it's a lot heavier. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. I talked into all the blues. It was pretty happening. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, all right, dude. You going to the party tonight? Yeah, I, I have a kind of card in and everything, and I never got tickets. Oh. So I guess I can't go. Well, oh, wow. go in the back door. That's how I'm getting in. Like <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Good, good talking good to you. Good guy who's done it. <laughs> See you, man. Nice right. talking to you, man. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, here's what we have coming up. Music to choose from includes uh, Aerosmith, Dude Looks Like a Lady, sure, we My play Dreams. Aerosmith. Uh, Why don't you play deep down into the pain? It's a better try. All right. We have, I think we have it. Let me go see if I can find the They keep everything out of the room that they're afraid we might I mean, you, if you want to play, you I can think play. we have sex and religion in here. Let me see. All right. It's not going to be bad. That's DLC. Let's see. Molly has a film with that. Oh, dude, I haven't heard that in 10 years. <laughs> I got to hear it. All right. <laughs> I love the hatch. Uh, and we should play Brother Kane again. Nice. There's probably some 500 pound chick on line four who's. Can we go ahead and post the shot right quick? Yes. Talk to you. Yes. So. I don't know. She's 500 pounds. Right. Well, she sounds good, so she probably is about four, five, six hundred pounds. Long and I, uh, for a picture over here. Okay. I'll trade shot. That. That's all right with you. You want to talk? Want to say something? Yeah. Real quick? Go ahead. Put her on. Hello. Hey. Same. Are you? Hi. Hi, Lauren. Who's this? This is Kathy. How are you, Kathy? I call you all the time. You call me on Saturdays? Yeah, I called you um, this Saturday and you played Susan for me. Didn't I do that for you? Thanks, Lon. You're so sweet. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. You want to hear some Soundgarden? I'll play some. Yeah. Down deep into the pain. Let's play Soundgarden too, Sam. They should play Soundgarden. They don't play in Soundgarden. Well, we're, we're, listen, we're, I'm taking over this show right now. Like Jesus Christ pose. How you doing? Yeah, I'd love to hear Jesus That's Christ pose. That's a great pose. song. Hey, Lon. Yeah. Chris Cornell <laughs> called me on his birthday to tell me thank you for the birthday card, but I was not here. Oh, you're kidding. My mom didn't know who he was, and I came home. Are you dying? I'm dying. I came home, and my mom told me that a guy named Chris Cornell or something called me. And, and you're dying. And I was dying. And oh. I didn't know who he was. Wow, that's really... Yeah, he does that kind of stuff. He's awesome. Yeah, he is. On our party. 30 seconds. You coming to the party? Um, I'm not old enough to get in one. Oh, I love that. Well, hang out in the back alley. That's where I'll be. Well, I don't even live in Indianapolis. Oh. I don't think I can get there. All right. Well, listen, take care of yourself. All right. Okay, Kath. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, uh, 15 seconds. I have uh, Down Deep in the Pain by... Uh, by. Okay. This is house when Nikki's babe, uh, son was two years old, and there he is. Steve Vai has a little boy, and now a little girl. He's got two kids. And his wife, and she's sweet. She's pink first time now. She has normal hair. And he's the same way. He was on my show, actually, a couple months ago. So that's cool. But I couldn't get him to play guitar on the radio. That was a bummer. Hate that. Love it when we have the people that, yeah. that are willing to just pick up the guitar and just do it. Yeah. He, uh, see, he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would name his record Sex and Religion. Seems a bit more conservative than that. But play track this big on the record. Down into the... Thank you.
Damage sound of Steve Vai from Sex and Religion with Lon Friend. Down even the pain. On X 103. It's Slam and Sam, and it's uh, been just a real pleasure to work with you today. I'm going to have to head to the show, and I'm going to turn my show over, Indianapolis, the rush hour. Wow. I'm to Lon Friend today. Slam and Sam, I hand you the controls line. Dude, this means I'm just going to crush for the next hour and a half. You can sit in here and literally have an erotic radio experience. And don't forget, Ooh. tell everybody, last thing, right before you go off the air, man, tell them that right. you want to see them naked because it's, it's just a thing. Right? Does it work here, that line sure in Indianapolis? Does. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. There are naked people. So look at that. Flashing, beckoning. Um, some girl outside the window right now. So now we're going to do Metallica when we come back. <laughs> I gotcha. We got lots of heavy stuff. Metallica, Soundgarden, Pantera. I'm playing all my favorites. Coming so up. Stay tuned. Yes. Is that the one you were play? Okay, uh, you're good to go. Uh, All right. Uh, All right, Lon, here's man. I just right. turned this over, so there should be enough tape on there for the rest of the show. And, uh... Steve, you didn't shit on the Steve, did you? I think it's that song. Okay. You know what? It smells like that you just like. Do you want to come on or we... Fun. Huh? Pleasure to meet you. Talk just go right into Metallica. Okay. Out of your pleasure. Break. A pleasure, a pleasure. I hope to work with you again sometime. We will. Very comfortable. Have you been playing Great right? Great guy, man. Nice guy. You have a good time. Uh, I'm sorry? You, you haven't been playing right? Uh, it's a live show. Throw the full man out the fucking window. Do whatever, line, do whatever line wants to do. Play whatever you want. Cool. Play whatever uh, I'll pick the music, you pick the other shit. All you have to do is a commercial. Okay. Well, I have to do something. Take it easy, Sam. A portion of the proceeds go to the Sistic Fibrosis Foundation that possessed the dollars. 